Welcome to Pat's Cast. I'm Brad Whitaker. We may have some familiar faces returning to Foxborough in addition to Gerard Mayo, who has taken over as head coach for Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick's sons, Steve Belichick and Brian Belichick, may actually be returning to the Patriots. According to SI's Albert Breer, both coaches have been offered an opportunity to return to the team. As we all know, uh, Steve Belichick has been the linebackers coach and the defensive play caller for the Patriots for about four seasons now. Uh, Brian Belichick is the safeties coach, and he will have an opportunity to stay as well. Now, this does not mean they will not follow Bill Belichick to his next destination, wherever that may be, whether it's Dallas, Philadelphia, Los Angeles, Atlanta, or another team. Uh, We know the Cowboys are kind of the hot team after their loss on Sunday. And it's very possible that Bill's sons want to go with him. Uh, But my guess is both coaches will want to continue their coaching careers long after their dad retires. What better way to stand out than by taking this opportunity to actually separate themselves from their father while also still maintaining that family connection uh, with the Patriots organization. And I know a lot of people are, are annoyed with the nepotism. They're tired. They want to see some external candidates come in and, and bring some fresh faces into the organization. And certainly there is an argument for that. I certainly made that argument when it came to the head coaching position, although I am very impressed with Gerard Mayo. And uh, I think he will do a good job going forward. But All the issues that the Patriots have had um, over the last few years under Bill Belichick, one of those issues was not the defense. Since 2019, the Patriots' defense has been very first, number one in the league in EPA, which is expected points added. So while there is certainly plenty of criticism to be leveled at Bill, the defensive performance is not one of them. They've essentially been the best defense in the league the last four years. And if Steve Belichick and his brother Brian return uh, with Gerard Mayo at the helm now, I would expect that success to continue. Now, in all likelihood, Ger- Gerard Mayo will be hiring a defensive coordinator, and Steve will likely be a part of that consideration if he does, in fact, decide to return. Now, I would argue he probably should not be the defensive coordinator. Um, he's you know, not really an extrovert. He doesn't lead the team meetings. He has been the defensive play caller. So what we all think is the defensive coordinator, which is the guy with the headset calling plays in the sideline, Steve Belichick has fulfilled that role. But He is a bit of an introvert. He doesn't lead the team meetings. He has a very Belichickian personality. Maybe this is an opportunity, perhaps, for him to branch out into that role a little bit. But I'm not sure that is the best fit. If he is, in fact, elevated to the DC role, I would expect Gerard Mayo to play a very similar role in addition to being the head coach and running the overall operation, leading team meetings, doing all of those things that Steve Belichick, perhaps, isn't very good at, or perhaps Steve would get a little bit more responsibility, but if Steve Belichick does decide to return to the team, he has to go to the top of that list um, for consideration of being the next Patriots defensive coordinator. Uh, Mayo will also be interviewing other potential candidates. Uh, A person that we do know is coming in um, is Panthers linebackers coach. Uh, I hope I'm not butchering his name. Um, Ted Lukabu for that position. Um, He spent three seasons, he's been in Carolina for the last year, but he also spent three seasons as the defensive coordinator for Boston College before that. And then in 2019, he was also the linebackers coach for the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, Also is a Rutgers guy too. So we know the Patriots like Rutgers guys. Perhaps he would be a good fit for that role. I guess he has a good relationship with Gerard Mayo. He's being considered Another potential candidate who is my preferred choice, honestly, um, is Demarcus Covington, who has been the defensive line coach for the last four seasons now and really has done a terrific job, particularly when it comes to player development. I mean, Christian Barmore is Christian Barmore because he's worked with Demarcus Covington. Obviously, we know what Matt Judon has done in that role. Uh, All the other players that have really impacted uh, the, the opposing quarterbacks and the run game. DeMarcus Covington, I think, would fit into that role like a glove. Has been with that organization. He would be an excellent defensive coordinator going forward if 
Gerard Mayo wants to go that route. Now, this would be the first official defensive coordinator for the New England Patriots since 2017. Nobody has actually carried that title um, since, I believe, I'm not sure if it was Brian Flores. It might have been Matt Patricia. I don't think Flores was in that role. So uh, let me know in the comments if you know who the last official defensive coordinator was. I believe it was Matt Patricia and not Brian Flores, even though he was kind of the de facto defensive coordinator. But I think any of those three candidates would be an excellent fit. I express my concerns about Steve Belichick. Um, there is the guy uh, from Cincinnati, Ted Lukabu. Uh, I like Demarcus Covington, but let me know who you think might be uh, the best candidate to fill that role. Um, now, as for uh, whether or not the Patriots will hire a general manager, that question remains to be answered. There were a bunch of conflicting reports over the weekend saying the team will not be hiring a general manager or they might be hiring a one. Um, I guess Gerard Mayo has been reaching out to potential candidates, um, which is a little unusual, right? You would think that would be more of a, a Robert Kraft type decision, but it sounds like Gerard Mayo certainly is not only going to be in those interviews if they do in fact want to hire a general manager, but he's actually going to be one of the key decision makers going into that role. I guess the argument for the Patriots not hiring a GM is you want some continuity there. You don't want to bring in a whole new staff. You want the same scouts because they've been scouting this 2024 draft class for quite a while now. Um, you keep you know, Matt Grow. Uh, you keep some of these guys there because really you're kind of starting from zero if you bring in a GM. I think that would be a mistake personally. I think you keep the whole staff until at least after the draft just because of all the work that they've put in. Um, but it certainly helps to bring a fresh pair of eyes in there. Um, unfortunately, Adam Peters, who was the guy I really liked, uh, worked with the Patriots before, uh, has basically been the number two um, in, in the front office for the San Francisco 49ers the last few years. He went to the Washington Commanders, so he's out of the conversation. Um, another popular candidate that could come into Foxborough is Cincinnati's Trey Brown. I guess he has a really good relationship with Gerard Mayo, so if they do want to bring in a GM, he may be the next best choice, uh, but I, I think you're making a big mistake, uh, Patriots, if you're not going to bring in a GM. You keep the same staff. You know, you can flip it on its head in May after you bring in the new draft class and start over if you want, but I think it makes a lot of sense to bring in a GM. Let me know what you think, though, uh, if the Patriots should just continue working with what they have now or if they should bring in somebody from the outside to really help with, with the, the GM position. And they actually have not had a GM with the official title in New England since before Bill Parcells. So this would be very different. Uh, but understanding the way the NFL operates today, the way teams operate, it makes sense to have a formal head coach and a formal GM. Patriots also do not have an analytics department. And that is something that pretty much every modern team in the NFL has. Bill Belichick was not a fan of that. Hopefully that will change going forward. Maybe that's something you decide to do after the draft. Um, but that I, I think at this point in 2024, you really need an analytics team uh, in Foxborough. It just makes all the sense in the world because, look, the Patriots, their biggest weakness really hasn't been coaching under Bill Belichick the last four years. It's been player personnel, and I think they've been really behind the, t behind the eight ball there when it comes to selecting the right players, and hopefully that will change very soon uh, if they do bring in a GM. Uh, but lots of news going to be breaking this week and in the coming weeks as we see if the Patriots bring in a GM as they hire a potential defensive coordinator. What's going to happen at the offensive coordinator position? We don't really know. Is Bill O'Brien coming back? He might. Or are we going to see a return of Josh McDaniels or perhaps somebody else that's going to modernize the offense a little bit? We'll be here at PassCast to cover it on uh, the rest of the way. And heading toward the draft, there's going to be lots of great conversations about what the Patriots should do with the number three overall pick. Or maybe they'll trade up and get Caleb Williams. There's a lot that could happen. We'll be here at Pat's Cast. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like this video and subscribe and follow us wherever you get your podcasts. We'll be here all off season and heading into next season. Should be pretty exciting.